Rais William Ruto amewahakikishia wakenya kuwa gharama ya nguvu za umeme haitapanda. Rais aliyezungumza wakati wa ibada ya Jumapili mjini Mombasa anasema mipango inaandaliwa kuhakikisha gharama ya umeme inatilia maanani hali ya uchumi ya wakenya. Kwenye hotuba yake ya kukaribisha mwaka mpya katika ikulu ya Mombasa jana usiku, Rais amesema serikali imeandaa mikakati kuhakikisha uchumi wa Kenya unaimarika na Kenya kujiondoa kutoka kwa mzigo wa madeni. Sam Gituku na taarifa hiyo inayotufungulia jamvi la nipashe siku ya kwanza ya mwaka mpya. Ndio hafla ya kwanza ya Rais William Ruto kuadhimisha makaribisho mwaka mpya tangu kuwa rais mwezi Septemba mwaka jana. Alijumuika na viongozi mbalimbali katika ikulu ya Mombasa, Rais akichukua nafasi hiyo kutafakari aliyojiri mwaka 2022. Siku mia moja na kumi tangu kuwa rais, William Ruto alirejelea sababu za kuondokea ruzuku za serikali kwa gharama ya maisha kama vile mafuta ya petroli, unga na bidhaa zingine. And the decisions about some subsidies in unga, subsidies in fuel, subsidies in electricity that were not informed by the science of our economy but were informed by the expediency of the political moment that existed at that time we have had to do away with those subsidies because otherwise they would cost our economy big time imekuwa zaidi ya miezi mitatu tangu ruzuku hizo kuondolewa wakati ambapo bei za bidhaa zilipanda kisha zikaanza kupungua and i am happy that we have saved our economy huge amounts of money and we are now well on the way to making sure that we invest in the areas that will drive our economy in a sustainable manner na japo ilikuwa imekadiriwa kuwa gharama ya umeme itapanda baada ya ruzuku ya umeme kuondolewa sasa rais anasema hizo ni porojo tu kwani ruzuku za kuondolewa tayari ziliondolewa pindi tu alipoanza kazi ya urais I want to assure the country that we removed subsidies in August there will be no additional charges today or going into the future on electricity bills lakini rais akatokeza kuwa bei za umeme huenda zikaangaziwa upya kufikia mwezi machi katika mchakato utakaohusisha uma we are conducting a whole review of tariffs of all our energy requirements and in three months time we will have public consultation to ensure that we have tariffs that are sensitive haya yanajiri huku serikali kiahidi kupunguza mikopo ya umma na badala yake kuangazia mapato ya nchi ili kufadhili mipango ya serikali tayari tuko na dalili mzuri ya kwamba mwaka mmoja ijayo tutakuwa tumeongeza mapato yetu kutoka trilioni mbili mpaka trilioni tatu. kuanzia mwezi ujao serikali itaruhusu kuagizwa kwa baadhi ya vyakula vya nafaka kutoka mataifa ya kigeni bila ushuru ili kuziba mianya ya uhabu wa chakula rais akisema mpango wa mbolea ya bei nafuu utaendelea kufanikisha uzalishaji wa chakula nchini sam gitukuruninga ya citizen